Hi everyone, I'm Rachel. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to color ultra shiny lip gloss using the Color Therapy app. In order to show the separation of the clear gloss and the lipstick, we'll create subtle shadows around the gloss and apply harsh white highlights versus rough lip texture. Search for this image under lips. All right, so let's start off by tapping to fill in our color for the lips. I'm using the first color on the top row of the Dark Shades palette. And then I'm using that other burgundy on the top row, it's a lighter color. And then with the airbrush tool, set the size at 100 and opacity at 40. Make sure coloring inside the lines mode is turned off. I'm gonna just spray the inner lip. They're just a bit lighter than the outer edges. Now over in the pink palette, I'm gonna select the first color on the top row, it's a dark purple. Now with those same settings, I'll just spray around the outside of the lip. Now select the soft pastel tool. Put the size at 100 and opacity at 28. Now I'm gonna add in some texture to the lips. So with the basic white, I'm going to gently tap in and draw some texture to the top and bottom lips. I'm also using the darkest red from the Red Shades palette. Doing the same thing. We have some darker texture and some lighter texture. Set the size at 11 and opacity at 40. Now I'm going back to that same dark color we had from the pink palette, as well as the medium burgundy color from the Dark Shades palette. And I'm just drawing little lines, just kind of going down the lip. And I'm curving with the lip so you can follow the lines that you see on the template and you can add your own too. Some of these lines can even crisscross. It's very subtle. And apply that to the top lip as well. Now let's lower the size all the way down to one and opacity about 17 to 20%. And now using white, I'm gonna add a few more little lines in the same way. Now set the size and opacity at 50. Using that same color as we used before to tap to fill in the lips, we're gonna draw the gloss now. I'm going to draw the gloss spilling down over the bottom lip slightly. It's going to be hard to see right now, but we'll outline it. Now, before you go too far with shading the drip down there below the lip, you want to tap to fill in whatever skin shade that you want. And it does help as well to shade underneath that bottom lip before you do the drip. So after you've done that, you can just draw the drip starting to come down just below the bottom lip. Now we're going to outline the gloss. So select the first dark red from the Red Shades palette. Put the size at 8 and opacity at 25. Outline the gloss softly. It will be kind of hard to see, but that's okay. Now let's draw the highlights with the pen tool. So set the size at six and opacity at 28. Using white, draw a long highlight just across the bottom. You can overlap that a few times to make it a little bit brighter. And then curve the highlight into a drip shape in the middle. I'll also bring that highlight up and around same area just above that very subtle shadow we made. And then I'll draw one above that as well. Now you want to blend that using the smear tool. So set the intensity at 100 and the size at about 15. And I'm just blending it so it's extremely smooth all the way across. The smoother those highlights are, the more glossy it will look. It also looks more glossy the brighter the white is. Now with the airbrush tool, let's finish up that drip. So lower the size down to 10 and opacity at 40. And for the drip, just outline it with some very subtle lines. It can even be dotted here and there. And then fill in one little area at the top so it's kind of shiny. Then you can add in another little highlight right where it's dripping from the lip. Now go to the Skin Shades palette, select the last color, and then lower the airbrush tool down to size one. Opacity can stay at 40. Then just add a dark shadow right underneath that highlight for the drip, and then maybe up the side a little bit. And with the Sphere tool at size one, intensity at 50, you can just blend that drip very softly and subtly. And then lastly, let's add a couple little bubbles in there. So select the pen tool. The size will be at one and opacity at 45. Using that same dark color from the Skin Shades palette, zoom in and just draw a tiny half circle. You can draw a few of them, and then to finish them off, draw a little white half circle right below it. To finish, you can draw a few other little bubbles and little dots. And then when you zoom out, it'll look a lot more realistic. You can apply this same idea to create a drip on the top lip as well. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos.
Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.